Hello, it is. We are on hour number six of our 24 hour telethon, which is for service heroes. Uh, and we are benefiting Chemo Buddies for Life. And we have Angel Marie who shines on. And then I have Bill Heinrich in the house. So it couldn't be more fun that we are starting this morning. And, you know, I am so glad that you had a chance to kind of start meeting. And I want to just say, how are you doing before we, we go to a a Angel Marie? I'm doing great. Good. How are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do great here. I think you know? you're doing amazing. I'm watching you with this technology and this uh You've well, come a long you. way, baby. And well, hey, you know, this old dog is trying to learn some new, new tricks. tricks right? You Tell know, the one it. thing I haven't got down and I still need to is the 800 number, but we're not going to go there. So, Angel Marie, first of all, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> I love it. There's that energy. Okay. It's my morning. Why don't you tell us about your, yeah. you shine on. What does that mean? Let's talk about that. Well, really, it, I've been doing this energy work for like 20 years. And this energy comes from the inside out. And it's just like my routine this morning is to get up and wake up and start singing. And singing, good morning, good morning, good morning. Because <laughs> what happens when you raise your vibration, when you bring up your frequency, even if you don't feel like it okay you still you can do it. it doesn't matter if you've been up for 48 hours right i mean it really doesn't your brain doesn't know if you've been up 48 hours or not but you can be like oh i'm feeling good and you can be in that tire but you know what happens is in reality you can change anything with your mindset and that's what's the biggest key is change your mindset energize your life that is my biggest thing. Change your mindset, energize your life. It doesn't matter what you're going to. Don't you agree? Oh, I forgot your name. What was your name? Can you get this name again? I'm Bill. Bill. <laughs> Don't you agree, Bill? I mean, really, Bill. Tell me, you got it. Now stand up, move around a little bit, kind of get that okay. vibration moving. And you know, it doesn't matter if I went to bed at one in the morning and I got up at five. It doesn't. Wow. It now, doesn't okay. Matter. Now, I want, before we go into some of the stuff that you do for Shine On and your movement and stuff, I want, I, I know a little bit about you. We've had our discussions and I've read your book and, and like I've told you before, yes. And like I've told you that it really it means a lot to me because you, your situation is very similar to someone in my family. And so that is. I, I was like, okay, I get you right off the bat. And from there, I have just absolutely adored you. And not that I wouldn't anyway, but I just do. And so with that said, tell us if you would a little bit about your past. And then, because I think it brings that much more to what it is that you're doing now. Okay, thank you for that. I appreciate it. And you know, just imagine that you're at the Xerox and you're in this cubicle and you're sitting there and you hear this buzz, layoffs, layoffs, layoffs. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And then on the other hand, you're like, get me out of here, man. Get me out of here. And you go home and you say, hey, I got laid off today. And your partner looks at your daughter, looks at you, and says, this is the way to do it. You can start your business. You're all excited. You're like, I am ready to go, right? I am ready to do this business and this coaching. You start calling your, your family and they start doing what? Is anybody going to get this energy stuff? What are you going to do about this coaching? You know, this coaching is right now. We're talking 20 years ago. Isn't this kind of weird? And then they say, well, you, should, you need insurance. You should really, you know how that whole thing is, nine to five insurance. So all of a sudden you're starting to feel like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. What happens is, is a client calls and says, you know that rash I had on my face for two months going to Mayo Clinic that we could figure it out? One session was good. With the Reiki energy, the energy. I'm renewed. I'm like, ah, I'll go 
out of my way. Okay, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. So I end up going out. Another friend called and says, Come to the water front. I'm sorry. But if a water front is going to be coming It's the same that you are, what you're talking about, illuminating your life. Last night you were talking about the shine. It's so bright sometimes. It can pull it, right? You said this. And that it illuminates and you said that because you were walking around the stage and you were going, well, this is too much light. This is too much light. What happened was when the energy starts to go. So, of course, my business started to go. I started getting more clothes. I ended up getting an office. And then what happened? Being diagnosed previously with lupus, fibromyalgia, arthritis, and Sjogren's. Lights, my mouth, the whole thing. I ended up happy. It's sicker and sicker. I ended up leaving there. And also, what happened was the doctor came back to me and said, You have mold poison. And you know, as well as I do, mold poison is not a fun thing to have. And that stays in your course. So, what ended up happening is I started to heal myself. And I started going back to what I know. And I was so determined by then because I was not going to work. <laughs> You know, I was I was totally devastated. He said, "You're gonna die." By that time, my partner was gone, family was gone. Well, I was devastated, alone, and sick. And I started to heal myself. And what did I do? I totally healed myself. And to, even today, it's a process. It's balance. But yet, what did I do? I started to shine from the inside out. That's when the shine was really born. So then, what happened was, is <clears throat> I opened the light workers' gift, which is a wellness center. Talk about how to heal from the inside out from my mindset issue. And I knew that this was the you know, just like you. You were so passionate about what you do. I've seen it for you. At a different level, because you're passionate. So I started doing more classes, more coaching. And it ended up happening was it was thriving. I was building community, people were coming in and then stuff there. And I and it was but I was so weird because we're talking fourteen years ago when I opened it. I had three heads. Everything was weird, this Reiki thing, the whole coaching thing, everything was weird. But yet it was thriving and then what happened again? Started getting sick again. Went to the doctor. Got yeah, ready to have a heart attack. Your stress is unbelievable. You're about ready to have a heart attack. All of a sudden, from all of the long hours and the stress of the financials and the pressure, I ended up walking in one day after my beloved four-legged got up the planet and my dog. I walked in and said, what am I doing here? I'm going down. I, I've got to do something. There's something different. So I closed the center, filed a bankruptcy, yeah, filed a bankruptcy, and ended up having a complete breakdown. I mean, complete breakdown. I shifted my mindset again because I was not going to work that nine to five. There's no way. And I started sharing on stage. And that's where I met you. I started sharing stress less, shine more. Because that was the doctor was like, you are just going to get off the charts. That's where I met you. That's where I met you. Can I interrupt you for a minute? Go ahead. We're we're hearing that they're having a hard time hearing you because of the move and the um that it's your mic it has some kind of static and then you're moving away with your moving that sometimes there it's going in and out of and we're so okay let's let's see if we can try that i'm on the yeti so we should be okay with the yeah yeti. that's a lot better i yeah. think that that's a lot better how's that is that better too I believe it is. And yeah, I think it is much better. And so, and then I am going to be troubleshooting something as you're talking. So if I'm not looking up, please don't think I'm being rude. I'm just trying to also check something else out. So, no uh, so this is live TV or live streaming. <laughs> you don't know uh, what's going to happen. This is what I love about it. So I started sharing on stage and started sharing about the stress less shine more. And what ended up happening is this amazing lady, who I call her my angel investor, saw my vision, saw and understood my mission, 
about the Shine On movement and wanted to come on board. And what happened was, is once she came on board, then I was able to write the book. And having dyslexia, you see, I said, I didn't say I am dyslexia. I said, I have dyslexia. And having dyslexia, this was never even a dream for me in my life. But yet mm-hmm. with her, she helped be able to get people to help me to write this book. And, the, and this is a self-help book. It's just it's one every day. In fact, Tamara, tell me to stop. Tell me to stop. Stop. Okay. You said stop. Passion and purpose. Passion Ooh. and purpose. Takes you a minute, minute and a half to read. Let me just read the quote because why not? To play with passion is to have an enthusiastic purpose. Think about how enthusiastic Tamara is. <laughs> purpose, you have that inside of you. You know what you want. So this is what the book was made is to be able to every day just touch upon. This angel investor actually helped me so much more because it, she helped me to understand that coming from the inside out and that everybody wants to have more joy, more confidence, and that you really matter and that your service matters. And that goes right in line to what you are talking about, Tamara, is that everyone really matters and what their service is. It doesn't have to be military. It doesn't have to be chemo buddies. It doesn't. What it is is celebrating the service heroes, which I am going to thank you that I am a service hero. Thank you for doing that. I want to remember oh, what day you're I was welcome. On. Absolutely. And I mean, you know, hey, there's there's Don McGrath. All right, good to see Don. And yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's funny. <laughs> we have a little group going on yeah. here. <laughs> yes, we do. The speakers, the speakers pathway coalition. But going yeah, yeah. back, yeah, to service heroes is that we all are one. Helping people. Rock. Yes, it does. And in fact, okay, I hope you don't mind, um, and, and Angel Marie, but we're going to, as we're going, we're going to be talking about the fact that this is a fundraiser and we are raising funds. So I want to I want to put a challenge out there. We had a lot of fun. I don't know if you saw the challenge we had with Amy and Tina but if, when we were like selling off our corpse person over there, you know, and we... We did an auction and someone took him and, and yeah, I know. He's gone. He's, he's gone now. <laughs> he is, gone. His heart's is gone and yep, he is a done deal. And, and so, you know, and so I was just thinking, since you are such a, a shine on person, I mean, of course we have the, um, the PayPal me uh, link, but now, the shine on movement. How could we do something with energy and everything to say, okay, now for this morning, if you were to something, what would you then, you know, donate $5, $10, $20, something, you know, like, like Kelly was like, pay it forward. If you pay, you know, if you buy coffee and you usually spend this amount of money, go spend it there. You know what I'm thinking, okay, something fun. Like, okay, how about do the shine on movement? If you do it for five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, and you feel really great for every minute, donate a dollar. You know, something fun like this. Just a thought. So you know the shine on movement is is, is about believing in a common mindset, about spreading self-confidence. It's organic because it is okay. organic. So spreading self-confidence and positive energy and joy. So my challenge would be to you to benefit this, the funding and to fund this because he knows for what she's doing and how and you already know that because you guys have been here or you, how oh, you've been here. And I'm going to say hello to Preston because he wraps also Preston's on the line. So oh. it is about when you spread joy, meaning, when you go to work today, when you go out there in the community and you just smile, but you recognize somebody else smile. That's the thing. They smiled because you smiled at them. Now, Harvard did a, a study that 
It's you can't smile at someone else and they don't smile back. Why? Because it is energy. It's about five right. feet of okay. energy. And it, it's right through this line too, that you, when you're smiling and it's the eye, that it is a vibrational field. So when you do that, every person that you see that you do that, I either want you to I challenge you to either one dollar or five dollars. Oh, I'm I like it. Five dollars. Good. Okay. I like that. That's okay, so every time okay. you're out, like I have to go to the grocery store later. I have to go to the bank later. And when I walk in, when I smile and they look at me and they smile, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That's thirty dollars. Six times five. I love it. That's thirty bucks. I'm willing to take that challenge. That's a good challenge. Yeah. That's, That's a idea. good challenge. That's good, a great because, idea. because just for you to smile at someone else sends a vibrational field and will raise their energy. And, and just in a smile, we know chemically from Harvard to all these other studies, it raises your energy and your endorphins and your, it's amazing because you really matter because you're sending this out. So, no so, that's up to you. so just like for okay. you, Go ahead, Bill. Okay. What are you saying? Well, let's up the game a little bit, okay? okay Here's the challenge. Contribute $100 and then go out today and find 20 people that you can do that to. Make a commitment to do it. There you go. I love it. I love it. That works. Rather than hoping it works, make a donation of $100 and go find 20 people and make that eye contact and smile and say, Aloha, my spirit loves your spirit. I love it. Or, yes, absolutely. Aloha. That's what it means. Aloha. Aloha or namaste means I honor the spirit within you as I honor the spirit within me, shining the bright. And that's really about what's going on with the, the movement, which is the same thing's going on with your move. It, it's You have a movement, you have a cause. I mean, you actually, it, you know, just, the people that called you and said, hey, I want to donate, donate to you those flowers. I mean, that was amazing. And all your I mean, people just, it, once they understand. So I love this, Bill. So yes, I challenge, go ahead, donate, fund it, however you want to look at it, the PayPal me at Chemo Buddies for Life, they challenge you. Go ahead, $100, and then get out there. And you know, it's going to be like that. It's going to be like that. And people are people are always, I just walk in and start to smile and people, because it's So just imagine if 10 people contributed $100, that means we're going to touch 200 people's lives. I love it. Right. And so then that continues. And that is, and you know what, that kind of energy is going to start changing the fact that those three words are not going to be heard as much. Because if you start helping people to feel healthy and we can get to them before they hear of it, we're going to start really starting a new revolution out there, a health revolution through smiles. I love it. And what you say all the time, uh, Tammy, healing through connections. Yes, and that's the thing is, is even in the smile, and that's the biggest thing that I teach because people don't realize how much they're just walking around or they're walking around like in their phone doing this and they're not even engaged. How much does the smile and easy smile can help heal someone else? I mean, but yeah, what you're doing, I mean, you know, calling all the heroes and really I want you to know that all of you are heroes and I appreciate what you do in, in your service. And we all are heroes. We really are. Yeah. And yes. It doesn't matter. Healing through connections. Yeah, Don. And Preston had a really good one about coming from the inside out, too. So thank you for that, Preston. I mean, wow. You guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's really I love good it. stuff. Really. And thank you for letting me tell my story about coming from here to here to here to understanding how energy and because that's that's what I'm an expert at is helping people coming from the inside out and what you're doing. That's what you're an expert at. You're an expert at bringing them. You know, if I could, I want to tell a story, a real quick story about a client. Absolutely, go for it. A client that came in, and 
she is she moved here she divorced her husband at 65 years old Mm -hmm. wow we were making transitions like you wouldn't believe from my my empowerment coaching class clients wow they are it doesn't matter if they're 60 70 80 they're like "Uh uh-uh i am moving i'm doing it's amazing she said Mm -hmm. at 65 years old she decided to leave her husband move to phoenix she moved here not knowing anyone she gets here and what happens she gets cancer oh and she is all by herself she doesn't know what to do she's going through this by herself her neighbor ends up helping her that was a chemo buddy and it mm-hmm. absolutely that was the support buddy the chemo buddy and now mm-hmm. they're best friends but you know if it wasn't for this lady and her neighbor that came and helped and was sat with her to get her through and that's what you know, really touched me when I heard this story a while back and then I met you and I'm like, you know what? This is so needed because there right. is people and are people out there. That need right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Thank you for sharing that story because the bottom line is that if you do it alone, there is a risk there's a risk and and you just don't want to be doing it alone you want to have a buddy you want to have support you do not want to isolate yourself because it's just not a healthy way to be think of this that's not healthy it's also not our makeup as humans we right connection because the body feel wants the other and yes, there's time to be alone and meditate within. Yeah, when that's you're- different. I, I I I see that as different. A meditation and alone is is a different energy and a different attitude, a different activity than an isolated energy, especially when you're going through something so traumatic. And well, you it's, it's fear. Away. Right. It's There's fear a lot of fear. a lot of stress. And remember, you know, I, I do the big stress less shine more. I've studied stress. Right. Right. So I didn't know big stress or little stress. It really doesn't it doesn't quantify. It just is. So mm-hmm. going through going into a hospital, going through the not knowing, very stressful on the body. Very much. Oh. And to be able yeah. to have connection even to hold hands i'm sure they put their hand and just hold the hand and it's just being there saying okay we're doing this this." right you're not alone i love about about the service heroes that you have been doing for 300 no it's 200 what's the day you're on what i'm i'm in the the one we're in the 150s right now 150 days. I mean, come on, people. That's a commitment. Days, yeah. That is a passion. Yeah, yeah, I know. I have. If, if I take something on, I'm going to take it on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow. So, I mean, tomorrow she'll be on doing the, doing another service hero. Who's who's it going to be? I mean, there's you're yep. all out there. You know, I yep. said she loneliness. Meditation breeds connection. Very nice, EJ. Yes, Man. that's. And that's EJ Johnson. He is a part of the Speakers Pathway Coalition also. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're all, the gang's all here. <laughs> it's at least part of the gang. It's beautiful because we're supporting each other. Right. Yet we're also supporting this cause. And I right. really want to, again, challenge you. Dig a little deep. It doesn't matter how much it is. Dig a little deep to help out someone else and paying it forward. And because it's it's really is the season of light and love. That's one of the things that you said last night too. Is it's a season, but you know what? It is the time. And it is just the time. And it doesn't matter what season. Being grateful and having gratitude on Thanksgiving, if you do Thanksgiving, it's really doing that every day. And you know that Tamara because that's what you're living. You are the embodiment of what you do. <laughs> and then I thank you. Well, you're welcome. And I thank you for being part of this. I do. And 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 coming on with us stage warriors. 
Yes, I like For that. those that don't really know what's going on here, we have a new program in town that's called the Speakers Pathway Coalition. It just so happens that all of us that are involved with this program right now are a, are part of that Speakers Pathway Coalition. I am just so proud and honored to have been asked and Don McGrath and Jim Grant, who did show up here earlier, and I don't know if we had a chance if he was on this show, if he was on the previous show, uh, but he was here at one point too. So, well, welcome, welcome. Put it on there. Go ahead and put a link down there. That's fine because we yeah, we've got the link there. Yes, yes. We're also so. partnering with you with the Speakers Pathway Coalition, but we're also partnering with the Shine On Movement. We're also partnering with you out there to help us help you, Tamara, help everyone be a service hero and be that support buddy or in the chemo buddy to really go international, right? I mean, nationally. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not stopping. We're not stopping. It is, it, it, there's no doubt. I mean, we're already, we already are uh, getting, have ambassadors that have started uh, out there in some of the countries and, uh, there's there's no stopping us. We on our website we will have a translator function in there because cancer does not know any boundaries, nor do chemo buddies for life. There's just no boundaries here. We are a global movement. We're just not completely touching each one of the lives we need to touch, but we are global. And this is gonna help. So Dig deep, yeah. dig deep a little bit, even if it's five dollars. But yeah. I really like that. Oh. Dollars, every challenge you yes. do, put a hundred dollars in and go touch twenty people, thirty people, yeah. forty people, yep. and it's very yes. easily done. Shine on, she said. Oh, thank you, Dawn. Putting my website. That is awesome. Thank you, because this <laughs> movement is moving also too. But it's a, it's about saying thank you and connecting with people and making and understanding that you matter. And that's what Tamara's doing here, is it's all about you really matter. Something happens, remember energy, You know, we, we all have the gene for cancer. We do, we all have those genes in us, everybody does. Yeah. Why does it come out in certain people and why does it come out and it doesn't in others? I really believe it's mindset. I have a gentleman that was told he had the the cancer that's through the bone, bone marrow cancer, the one, and they can five years to live. Five years to live. He's now on his 12th year. Why? Because he's stubborn for one. <laughs> Very stubborn for one. And for two, no, it's all about mindset. Remember, change your mindset, energize your life. How do you want to energize your life? And right. you can boost it anytime, can't you? I mean, just breathe right now, Tamara. Do you feel tired? No, 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 no. no. I'm not gonna let myself feel. That. It's not <laughs> even a possibility of this phone and this body. This nope, not happening. Just like you, Bill. You know, right? Yes, you know, and Bill. You know, I want to be able to say thank you for sharing with with. Uh, Angel Marie here, and and I, it was kind of fun to get to watch this whole meeting thing, you know, because it's like I love the fact that it worked out that we had it all scheduled because you know what, this was a perfect situation. I did not plan it this way. In total disclosure, it just it happened this way because it was meant to happen this way. And look at this little group that was came on the show at this time to support chemo buddies for life and i just absolutely adore you all for being here and 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 we're having this little get to know each other party that everybody's getting to see publicly and and you know i want to just shout out to don and jim uh, grant because of the fact that they had the vision to start putting some amazing people that had different disciplines together to help those that want to get out there and speak and uh, the, word out. the movement with their passion their story absolutely right. Get that out. yes that's great so okay so we have i love can i just say 
Jay, you are awesome. You just keep us right on target. You know who this is the man that's been involved for with nonprofit uh, fundraising for a while. And he actually had told me that he was going to help me. And, you know, he's not letting me down at all. He was like, yes, I've got your back. We will do this and look at what he's doing. Donate your Starbucks money for the week and help folks thrive in the face of cancer diagnosis. No one should go through it alone. Make sure you don't, you make sure they don't donate now. There you go. Thank and donate you. now because these funds are going to be put to use and you're going to know that they're going to be put to use. And you know what? I'd like, to, I'd like to give and, and gift everyone with a free gift if that's okay. If you, if you go to my website, or, or maybe Don can put that, it's just angel at angelmarieshines.com, and you email me, I will send you a free gift. And what is it going to be? It's going to be a meditation. It's going to be how to come shine from the inside out. And it's about releasing energy that's no longer serving you. And this is really powerful, this whole meditation. Let me gift you with that. As you gift the chemo buddies as you donate and, it, and it's it's okay to to give five dollars even a dollar like, you know what yeah. many of you and i know that you're out there that you're watching this you know somebody that has gone through you know somebody or maybe you can it yourself and yeah. we don't want anybody to go through the wall no so be that support buddy be that chemo buddy but right now be that donation buddy that donates and goes in and says, I can do this, I'm gonna share my gifts, I'm gonna share, and that is, yes, your funds, because you really, this is an amazing program, and it's connecting with others, and that's what it's all about. Healing through I want you to along. I just adore totally. you, camera. I adore you too, and I have to just say, Dawn is on one today. Donate your pie money. From Turkey Day. <laughs> Benefit your waistline too. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, and Jay, you're just amazing. This is just a great group. And and um I wanna give I wanna give Bill some time because we're gonna talk about what it is that you're doing right now. So, you know, if you wanna stay with us, if it's all right with you, we'll have uh It's your show. Oh well, you yeah. know, it's be then we let's do it. And you brought your book, right? Did you bring your yeah. the new book? Yeah, but I, you know, I the reason I brought it uh -huh. uh, was because there's a chapter in it that's titled "The Best Things in Life Aren't Things." Uh -huh. The things don't matter. That's right. They don't. That's right. What's outside of you doesn't matter. What matters is what you're sharing, what you're giving, how you're serving, and the energy behind every thought, word, and action. That's all that matters. So Tamara and I hit it off right away when we first met. Uh, we just met in September? Was it? Yeah, it was September. It seems like it's been like I've known you forever. I know. Yeah. yeah well. Uh, we probably have. Yeah, and probably. <clears throat> so it's great to be able to be here to support her when she told me she was doing this telethon. It was just tell I me mean, what I can do. Yeah. Just, she said, I yeah. need somebody early in the morning. Yeah. And, and, and look, I said, I'm, I'm in. Yeah. 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 But you know, that's, <clears throat> that's what this is about. I have a, a number of people. Uh, my children's mother passed away from cancer. Mm. I, it's a long list. We all have a long list. Yeah. And the, what you were talking about before, about the separation mm -hmm. and the loneliness mm -hmm. and feeling trapped as you're going through the process of this disease right. and the healing of it, it was mentioned earlier about how difficult it is for your friends it's like, what do I say? Like, right, exactly, how, yes. How, how, I've heard Tamara has cancer, how would I approach her? And this is a very natural reaction. I, I've had a lot of experience with 
end of life. Right. Tra people transitioning, and it's the same thing. Everybody comes in and they do the fingernail inspections, and they're just like, "Oh yeah, they they, they don't they don't want to do the wrong thing. They aren't sure what to do." And the truth of the matter is, be you. Right. That's right. it. Exactly. <laughs> that is as simple as it's it as is. It's as simple as it is. It's and like, yet it's not so simple. I know it because it's we not. have this stuff going on on the inside. Right. And just a, a quick note, an email, a call to someone. It says, hey, if I can support you at all, um, I heard you're having some health issues here for you. Mm -hmm. Like, because the people with the health issues, not only are they dealing with um, with all of the insanity of, of our thought processes, but they don't know how to reach out either. Many times they don't, you know what, they don't. And I would like to add to that because I, I was really surprised by that Yeah. because I actually ran into that. I had had cancer. Mm -hmm. It was after my experience and one of my dear friends ended up getting cancer. And I sat there with a note for a while thinking, what do I say? I actually thought that. What do I say? And then finally it came to me and I said, I don't know what to say, but I'm here for you. And I love you. And here's someone that had been through cancer. Mm -hmm. But it, 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 that's not an uncommon thing. It isn't. By me. If I may, it doesn't matter what generation. I see it all the time in the coaching. We don't know how to ask for help. We do not ask for help. Women, men, it doesn't matter. And also, it's like when someone passes away or when the cancer, do we say, hey, how are you doing? And you hug. You don't want to ask what you're doing. You're not doing well. You just had a death in the family or you're worried about cancer. So why not just give them a hug and say, what can I do and how can I serve you? Yeah, many, many years ago, I'm, I'm trying to remember when this was, it was quite a while ago, I, a friend of mine's wife had cancer, and I ended up uh, spending, I lived in the same town, but I ended up spending, it was Thanksgiving weekend, in fact, oh. with him and his children and his wife, who passed away that Sunday. Uh, yeah. And the thing that surprised me was um, people who came up to me and said, you are an angel. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> me? How, how could you to be there and support them? I said, we watch football. Uh, exactly. <laughs> that is it. We watch football. Exactly. It was just having another person next to you mm -hmm. that you know cares <laughs> in the physical so so true and and in fact okay you guys are gonna think this is funny but my mother it skipped a generation my daughter too but my mother was seriously into football and the hospice person came and then some other people came and we were having she was having a debate about teams I mean, that's, she showed up in her brain. She had been in and out, but my gosh, football started, the discussion started and boy, it was like, okay, she was there and she's talking about this player and that team and, and this, you know, and, 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 and I'm watching this whole thing like, wow. What's, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, showed yeah. up. Yeah. You showed up. It's nice to see you, mom. And, but that was what was really important to her so it makes total sense that you would watch football and that's a note for everybody watching here is you know what don't overthink it yeah. don't overthink it it's just like what it allows Allison had said in the last hour is and what you just said a text a note a word I'm here what Don just shared. It's simple. Yeah, it and offer to go to coffee sometime. Anything. Exactly, exactly. And um, in fact, the friend that I didn't know what to say, she ended up, I, I offered and she took me up on it and I ended up being her chemo driver. She did do chemo. 
and we drove down to San Diego County. And I'm like, you know, when I did chemo, we would make a day of it. She goes, oh, that sounds good. So we did. And you know what we ended up doing? One time we were coming back, she goes, you know, I've always wanted one of those apps that tells you there's an earthquake. So what did we do in the car on the way back? We were researching earthquake apps and she was totally all about it. Mm -hmm. Who would have ever thought that someone going to chemotherapy would want to do that? I don't know that I would have, but that's what she wanted to do. And the invitation was there to do what, you know, okay, let's spend the day, let's do something. What do you want to do? I want to find out about earthquake apps. Okay. Let's do it. So we both had earthquake apps We're on our phone for uh -huh. a while. <laughs> you, you know, it doesn't have to be huge. It it just no, needs no, to no, be no. with heart. It just needs to be. You know, I did a exactly. I did a survey, uh, gosh, two years ago, um, on Facebook about stress and overwhelm. Oh. And I was absolutely stunned at. I just put a post up and said, I have a 15 minute survey regarding stress and overwhelm. Mm -hmm. If you would like to participate, let me know. So like 45 people right away. And I was like, damn, that was quick. Yeah. Right? That was that, yeah. But what amazed me, I was really moved by this. Mm -hmm. I was really moved by it. What I was moved by were the people that signed up mm -hmm. were people I wouldn't have thought stress and overwhelm were affecting number uh, one. Ah, right. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And the other thing that this literally blew me away. Like I was like, Oh my God, like they had this pent up inside them and desperately just wanted to share it with somebody. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. And that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got a lot of phenomenal information from the survey that I've never done anything with <laughs> because it's not totally true because I show people how to completely eliminate stress and overwhelm, but, right. but it was like such an eye opener for me that people and, and I would, how do I say this? I know a lot more about living life than most people. So when I see people, I know what's going on. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 More so yeah. Than most, yeah. Okay? This man does. So, right. But I didn't know that about them. Right. Okay. Like right. I was surprised. Right. Right. I Which, was surprised yeah. at mm -hmm. not that they were experiencing stress, but where they held it in their life and how it was affecting them inside right and not sharing it and not speaking about it and it was holding them prisoner on a number of different levels right and mm -hmm. so i got that the reason i did that survey was to give these opportunity these people the opportunity just to release a lot of it like i was these are people some of them were relatives i mean i was like very very surprised so the reason I'm bringing this up is going back to that same thing of, yes, it's difficult to pick up the phone or send an email when you know someone has found out they have cancer, but it's a hell of a lot more difficult on their end. And you can make just that note can be enough to save their life. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Without an exaggeration. No, not at all. In fact, that's one of the main reasons that Chemo Buddies for Life is actually a part. It, it's alive and, and, and kicking, if you will, is because of the fact that my doctor and my nurses, they were adamant that I do the research to see that it has been proven, proven that it's not just the quality of life, which is huge. But it's actually life, the length of life, mm -hmm. the, that that people are actually living because of that, and that they are not, if they are pulling back, isolating, not being with others, not a, not connecting, and that is 
a problem. And that is why Chemo Buddies for Life is out there. And what the message is too is just don't do that because there was a story from one of my my other doctors that was telling me when I was looking at doing this and talking to my because I went to all my doctors and all my nurses I did a lot of due diligence and and one of them was you know I need to tell you a story the story is this is that there was a woman that came in that she was professional and she didn't want anybody to know that she had it because of the professional reasons and so then what she ended up doing Right, yeah. That what she ended up doing is that she did not connect with others until it was too late. Uh -huh. Then she wanted to, but it was too late. And it was so frustrating for her medical staff to watch this because they were trying to talk to her and, and let her know that, you know, it would be good for you to open this up, to open it and let other people in. Oh, no, I don't need that. Oh, no, I don't need that. I need it. I need it. But it was too late. It's too late. It's too late. And that's what we don't want. We don't want it to be too late. And and so this is the message. This is the mission. This is going to actually save lives. And if that life is yours, someone that you know, someone that you love, Someone that even may frustrate you, but you still want them around because, you know, it's amazing how that happens, right? If they frustrate you, they're your greatest teacher. They usually are, <laughs> and they can also be your greatest friends. And, and in it the, really in the helps office. me. Pardon? If I may, it helps because what happens is they feel valued. Yeah. And everyone wants to feel valued and in, in, involved in something, and they want to have the support, and that's what you're doing by doing this telephone to help so that you get a solid foundation so you can really move it to be global. And this is wonderful. I love this story, Bill and Tamara. I mean, this is, you know, hide, being, people do hide and they don't want to reveal. This is the, you know, time and the energy and he pressed the, and the EJ just said that it's energetically also. So I just love what you had to share. And it's it's time. It is time to right. ask for help. It is time to support. Yay. Exactly. Many years ago, I was at a a meeting. Of, I've been in personal transformation for decades, but mm -hmm. and it was early on. And I've been around and working on this. Uh, maybe I, I I don't know how long. It really doesn't matter. But a fellow came up to me one day that was had been to this group. And he walked right up and he said, you saved my life. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I started laughing. Right? Because okay. I thought, like, that's great. But <laughs> that's really kind of ridiculous. And he's like, oh, no, it isn't. The day I walked through this door, you were washing dishes. And your hello told me I was welcome. Oh, wow. And it has saved it has saved my life. Right. And you know, from that moment, I realized what impact we can have, unbeknownst to us. Absolutely. Yeah. Like he was serious. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I mean, I felt great about it. I felt it was a great lesson for me because the words we share with others you never know what difference it's going to make. So even if you're scared, mm -hmm. you don't know how to contact that person or you're not sure what to do, do it. Just take mm -hmm. that step. It's mm -hmm. like making a donation. Just make a donation. <laughs> That's right. To Chemo Buddies for Life yes. so that this can spread. It's an organic cause that is just going to continue to spread and spread and spread. Yes, and in fact, you know, I just realized what time it is, and I, if those funds have not been already exhausted, every dollar that is given right now in the five o'clock hour is doubled by PayPal and um, and Facebook, and it's in the five o'clock hour. Yeah, so in the five o'clock hour, until the seven million dollars has been exhausted, and so I don't know if it has been yet. 
but the the and I'd have to go on to see if it has. However, if it hasn't been, every because I am signed up for the, uh, and you would need to go to the giving fund, which is on the website that was created. And there is a link on uh, the post that you, if you go to the posts that are on my page and you go to the, the website there, then that dollar is two. That is two. It's You're going to do 100 because we challenged you to do 100 and go out there and smile at 20 people. So 100 that's, will be $200. That's right. And so yeah. it, it is, it's huge. It's huge. And so I just realized what time it was. And, and so um, I don't know if it's been given out yet. And we just received, you know what, thank you. We've just received $75. We just received $10. And um, going and going and going. Yes, yes, it is going and going. And so I'm going to just check here while you guys are talking to see if the PayPal giving fund is uh, how's that going. If there's any updates. Pretty remarkable that they're that uh, Facebook and PayPal are doing this. What a great yeah great. It's, it, it is it's it's amazing and so that's why in fact um chemo buddies for life ended up doing this on giving tuesday and it looks like it's not all exhausted yet so what we're going to do here is i am going to i'm going to minimize this guys and and give me a moment because i'm going to go and i'm going to get this link so we can put it in the comments while you guys are talking well, you so, know, I wanted to talk to you, I, Bill, I wanted to say that it was great that you brought up about not being able to ask for help because, but yet not being able in, to talk to somebody that has chemo, I, that has cancer. This happened to me with my best friend. And I have to admit at that time, it was years ago. I didn't know what to say and do. Yeah, me. And I really didn't. And what happened is she really went through it. She was in California. I'm in here in Phoenix. But yet, I didn't. I didn't reach out. I didn't know what to do. And if I could do that again, oh my gosh! And I don't. And it it, it really bothered me. But yet, I didn't know what to say and do. So mm -hmm. if you're in that situation, it really taught me. And and now I know. And everything's a lesson. Everything is energy. So yeah, I don't beat myself up for it. She's left the planet. Yes. But yet, I wasn't there. And I, I'm the one that just has to, so when someone says they're going through things, it's just an easy text, like you said, you know, thinking of you with more love and hugs. Do you need anything? I'm here, so maybe I can't really physically help you, but energetically, vibrational field and understanding energy, you can send more than light. And in that mm -hmm. science, it can be proven that even right now, sending both of you love and light you actually are feeling that energy if you took the time to really connect. And then Absolutely. everybody out there connecting. So thank you for that, Bill. Yeah, you know, it's so great now with uh, FaceTime and Facebook Live oh, and, you know, and everything else. It's so easy to connect. I, uh, my sister had sent me a picture the other day uh, that was taken. Uh, do you remember Gene Autry? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. So, when I was three years old, he came <clears throat> to uh, Burlington, Vermont, where I grew up, and he was on a book tour or something. And so I had my picture taken with him because my dad was involved in having him come. We had our picture taken. But anyway, the thing that makes me think of that is I was looking at that picture, and in the background, there's a steel desk, a telephone, or a radio. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah, right? oh yeah, oh right, yeah, right? oh yeah. So oh, yeah. to go from that uh -huh. to the technology of today oh, yeah. is like, it's, it's it, incredible what we can do in our ability to connect with each other and to serve and help each other. Absolutely. And, it's, it, you know, it, it, it's, it is the truth. And and when you when you're mentioning that all of a sudden I'm, I, all these memories and thoughts and everything come to my mind it's like okay this is fun this is fun stuff and 
<clears throat> the other part of that is since that time, medical research has come a long way too. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot more information available because of the web. There's a lot more opportunity for survival because of the support and resources that are available to people. So Chemo Buddies for Life, by making a donation, you're really helping an organic movement that yes. you will look back in a few years and see this operating globally and go, wow, that's amazing. But the reason it's going to be amazing is because of you. Because Tamara is willing to sit here. <laughs> she saw the need for this yeah. and is all in. Yeah, I'm absolutely all in and you know i appreciate everybody that's all in with me and so what yes and so i did okay so sorry as i was listening and everything and uh, we just i put the link in the comment areas of this particular live i yeah i tried it and yes i saw that jay thank you for the comment i hope this works you know i i would love to keep talking because you know it's just like so much fun but I've got another, we got another, we got another uh, uh, show to start. We've got a gentleman across the pond in England. But, you, you know, if you want to sit with me, uh, that would be great. If you uh, if you need to go, that's great, too. I can stay for a little while. Okay. I knew I was coming in here early, so I've structured my day. Okay. And I have some appointments uh, Absolutely. set up that I've got to leave for in a little bit. Well, I just wanted to let you know that you're welcome to stay. And, and you know, Angel Marie, thank you so much for being who you are and sharing that amazing smile and energy and everything this morning. And I hope you get a chance to continue watching it here and there. The, uh, the uh, gentleman that's coming on now is an amazing talent. And I think that we're going to enjoy, uh, enjoy him, too. He's just a really super person. I I had a chance to do some exercises with him one time and we had some fun. So anyway. So what I would, I'd like to just end by saying to everybody, come from the inside out, knowing and believing in yourself because you really do matter. I celebrate you, camera. I celebrate you, Bill, everyone that's on the line. And remember that just even a dollar helps out any of these support or chemo buddies shine your light so i'm going to end with thank you and shine on shine on shine on shine on i'm good with that all right, all right thank, thank you, you. see you later bye bye